Hello and welcome to a brand new tutorial on the viewer. So today I'll be talking about um, the several important buttons that you'll be using in the viewer. So I'll just start off with uh, this plate that I have here. Um, you can only view uh, one scan at a time, one thing at a time. Uh, but there are exceptions. For example, if um, I view this in one, as you can see here, and then I view this in two, um, these three buttons over here will enable you to split them up. So let me just switch this to read one as A, and I can choose its function over B. So, for example, if I do a wipe and put B as read to, I can use this control to wipe across and see the difference between the two plates. So this is one example of these three buttons. There are different um, different operations as well but most of the time you will use wipe for this one and it's quite obvious why so let me just reset this so um, the next thing is there's a hotkey to this so instead of pressing this button to view the different channels you can all you need to do is press RG B and A on your keyboard. Uh, R is for the red channel, G is green, B is blue, and A is the alpha channel. So if you happen to press any of the keys twice, like G twice, you switch between color and the green channel. So that is for changing your views, uh, different channel views. Um, the next thing, this is fairly quite straightforward. Um, this slider over here with the Y sign um, adjusts the gamma. So if I put my gamma to 2 and I press this Y button, it will jump back to 1. And if I press it again, it go back to 2. So this can be used for reset and to go back to your previously set gamma. And the same goes for the this slider as well, which controls the f-stop. Same thing, same function. So let me make sure they're reset. Um, the next one I like to go through with you is this one over here, which is the node selection, vertex, face, and object. So obviously, if you are from a 3D background, this will be very obvious to you that this is for 3D use. Um, if I press the tab key and go into the 3D viewer, this is my 3D viewer. Let me just frame this. Um, I have a sphere inside here right now. And I'll press F to frame it in my frame. And I can orbit around it. So, if I go into the vertex mode, which I already am, um, I can select the vertices and um, I will tell you what you can do with that in some other lessons um, but this is just nice to know for now so just in case if you see me going into the vertex mode this is where I do it so it's face I can go to face as well and I can just select my faces and this object which is the object and the default is node so the button beside this is uh, what you call back face culling so if I go into vertex mode um, I think it's quite obvious what this is doing um, it's actually allowing to view occluded geometry that's behind the face and you can select points and faces 
with this view. So the next one I like to talk about is these two buttons over here. Um, they are usually used together. So right now there is no camera. This is the camera buttons, these two. So if I just select my camera over here and I select camera 1 which is this one over here um, I can zoom out and see that I'm looking for from camera 1 this is the camera that I selected in this drop down menu if you have more than one cameras here it will show uh, but make sure that you select this first by double clicking it otherwise it will not appear here um, so basically this button beside this one will work together so if I click on this and it turns red uh, if I try and zoom out it won't happen I'm basically locked to the camera view so if I change my camera uh, movement here in the properties panel you can see that I'm moving with the camera and I'm locked to its view if I want to move the camera itself what I can do is press a control click and this will allow me to change what I'm viewing on the camera and it and the camera position as well so just gotta press this again and zoom out and you can see that the camera location has changed it has gone a bit further the next button I like to talk you through is this one which is the LUT tables um, usually we work in linear mode I'm gonna go back into tab uh, usually we we work in linear mode but you can always change into the different LUT tables that are uh, that are basically specific to what camera you used to shoot your plate and basically this LUT table will correct what you see on the viewport so the next two buttons over here actually all of these four will actually work directly on this viewport so this pause button it's quite straightforward it basically means pause so if I change uh, the frame that I'm at it doesn't move it still stays the same frame that I was at um, so if I just unclick this this one is the refresh button so just in case I'm on another frame and it doesn't refresh maybe due to low memory I can always press this button to see whether it will refresh this one, this button over here is uh, more on uh, RAM optimizations for your machine so this region of interest will only render out what's inside this box so everything else will stay static and only the only calculations will be done will be in this box and let me just turn that off the one next to it it's basically down resting uh, so if I go this to 2 so if I zoom in you can see that the resolution has changed and it's gotten lousier and even worse and the maximum you can go up to is 32 um, but I don't see you using this unless you're working on something huge so the most I've used is actually 4 and then once you get to 8 it just goes crazy so let's just put this to 1 and uh, basically that's about it for what you have to know about the viewport um, I'll get through the others when we are working on an actual shot so thank you this is the tutorial for the viewport